First Eyewitness News has learned exclusive new information on a massive fire that sent an apartment complex up in flames. After receiving a tip from one of the residents at Darkness Woods, Eyewitness News has learned residents are not being allowed into the charred building to collect their personal belongings. Eyewitness News has also learned crews can enter that building on behalf of those residents, but for a hefty price. And the people who pay that cash may not get that money back in the end. Eyewitness News reporter Nathan Nuoso has the exclusive details from the southeastern Massachusetts mobile newsroom in Dartmouth. Some residents here at Dartmouth Woods have been able to get some of their belongings, but at a cost. Other residents say they shouldn't have to pay to retrieve what's theirs. After all, they say they've suffered enough. Days after a fire destroyed their apartment building, residents say the images still haunt them. Terror, horror. Now it seems the nightmare just keeps getting worse. The manager of the complex hired a company to go into the building and get belongings for residents, but that costs $750. Only those renters with insurance will get the money back. William Stanton and Jeffrey Lavoie lived in the Dartmouth Woods apartment building that burned down, and neither has renter's insurance. We did have it, but it, it ended up lapsing over. So we were, you know, the woulda, coulda, shoulda. It's kind of a little late. We just lost everything in both our houses, and I don't know why we should be responsible for paying more after losing everything we, we, just, we just lost. Representatives for the company Rebuild X spoke to Eyewitness News off camera. The company was called in because the owner said the building was unsafe for residents. Though residents have heard there may be a chance they could be let in eventually. Getting their things, they say, would help get life back to normal. We have two young boys, and see, it's been tough uh, with them asking a lot of questions. Uh, you know, the, the teddy bear is, uh, you know, when we get when I get back home, my teddy bear going to be there. And trying to explain to them, we're not going back home. You know, it's it's, it's been tough. I spoke with the owner by phone. He says he can't comment at this time, but he did say they're working on it. With the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, I'm Nika Nwosu, Eyewitness News.